also, we are in a new space, as you can see. This is like the most <clears throat> crafty place. So we're going to be doing a lot more intros over here in this very crafty space. So we're going to be doing those entrance here. So welcome back to the new intro space. Um, so yeah. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a really, really long time, um, but, uh, it's because, um, I wasn't able to upload anything because, um, iMovies was not allowing me to upload things to YouTube, but that's okay because I'm back now because we figured out how to do it! Yay! Shabam! So, we're going to be able to post videos now. I will be posting the Play Cracking Part 2 because I've only... Um, posted part one, so we will post part two after this video, maybe a little later after it. So today we are going to be making origami butterflies. Um, origami butterflies are super easy. Um, it might take a little practice. I'm not saying it's completely easy. That's Shamu. I'm not saying it's completely easy, but... You will take practice and set a very, very beginner level. And if I'm able to get it right on the first try, I think you can too. So let's get started. I've got substitutes for origami paper and all this stuff like that. So we're going to go get to it right now. I also forgot to mention today is a birthday special. Well, I'm not making something for someone's birthday. But yesterday was my birthday. So I'm doing this because... I feel I need to do something on my birthday. I feel I really need to give you guys something to do because I've been posting with my brother on all the other channels, but I really need to do this one. So it's a birthday special. I'm doing it for my birthday. Yay, yesterday was my birthday. Yay. Okay, let's get started with this. Okay, everybody, so let's get started. This is origami, so all you need is paper, um, but you need square paper, not just any paper, you need square paper. Um, so you can do that with how we start all of our videos, like, you know, you take the paper, you take the corner, you, you fold it over, yeah, that, um, if you forgot how to do that, I'll leave a clip at the end of the video, um, so I'll leave it at the end of the video if you guys forgot how to do that, but I have a good substitute for square paper, and, um, I'm going to be using some post-its. I feel like post-its are really good. They're already colorful, so I don't need to color the square paper that I cut out from my regular paper. So they're really bright and colorful, and they're squared. Um, don't worry about the adhesive. I have a solution for that. So, um, I have all of these colors of post-its. I have a lot of post-its, so I'm going to be using the post-its. So, I have a lot of colors. So, um... I have this bright yellow color, I have this really bright pink, um, this really faded pink as well, um, a really light blue, they're both the same, um, and I have this really pretty purple. So I have decided that I'm going to use this purple one, um, but if you guys want to do a color, leave it in the comments down below. like right over there leave it down below and i will do that color because i'm going to do more origami videos for you guys so we're going to take our post-its and we're actually going to start this thing i'll leave the paper thing at the end of the video um but so um so let's just get started so we're going to take a post-it right now okay so we have our post-it so it is sticky so i have a solution for that all you gotta do is like rub it off. It'll rub off. Um, there are multiple ways to do this. You can like rub it with your finger or um, like this. Just really rub it thoroughly. Or you can like scrape it on the floor because it will come off. It's just adhesive. So yeah, I'm just going to do this really fast. So yeah. Okay, so it is not completely gone, of course, that will never happen, but if it's not completely gone, that is fine, don't worry about it, because mine is also not completely gone. It won't really affect the origami, so let's just get started. Uh, don't worry, it's still going to be sticky, but it'll be fine. It really doesn't matter when it comes down to this, so yeah. We're going to take 
our post-it and we are going to start this adhesive. Don't worry, it washes off. Um, Cause I've already tried, it washes off, so do not worry. It will wash off. So anyway, so I have my post-it. We're actually gonna get started with the craft. We're not gonna talk about how to take off adhesive off post-its. That's not what we're here for. So, um, I'm trying to put a little humor into this, these videos now. Comment down below if you are okay with that. Okay, so let's get started. We are not gonna sit around all day. So first we need to fold our post-it in half, like so. Doesn't matter which way, it's a square, so just fold it in half. Um, so this is origami, so you really want the folds to be like really bold. Um, it's the adhesive. You really want the folds to be like really bold. So you're gonna take your thumbnail and you should like crease it with your thumbnail or fingernail or whatever. So you really wanna like really crease it so it's a really sharp thing, um, fold. So I'm gonna open it up and we are going to fold it in half the other way the way that we didn't do just now. So I'm gonna fold it right now. So this is origami, so you have to be like super precise cause like if you like, if the half fold is not super precise, it could just mess up the whole entire thing. So it needs to be super duper precise. Again, fingernail, okay. So now I have four squares. So now I'm going to be folding it diagonally from corner to corner. So. Again, super precise, because one fold could mess up the whole thing. Just crease it with the thumbnail. Going to open it, and now we're going to fold it diagonally the way, the other way, the way that we didn't do before. Going to fold it. Okay, sorry. Right, so I'm creasing it down. Okay, so all my folds are super sharp. So now I want to take that middle part and just kind of like, see that middle, that middle like spoke. I just want to like, that middle, see that? Push it down, okay? Push it down. And now I want to take the sides and fold it. Oh wait, my God. Mm, as you can see, I'm not an origami expert. This is not how you do it. Okay, so we're just gonna crease that middle fold that's going straight again. This is not how you do it. This is a voiceover and I'm watching myself struggle. Um, okay. We're gonna take that middle line and you, no, 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 no. Okay, I finally figured it out. Okay, so you want those like, you see that straight line? You want it to cave in. So see how over here that straight line that was going across the paper was like out, it was like sticking up. Um, I pushed it down the other way and now it was facing in. So if it doesn't work, like see it's caving in. So if it doesn't work one way, try pushing it down the other way so that that line that's going across, that fold that we made across is kind of caving in. Yeah, so just like flip it the other way, just it should cave in. So now you want to like take that middle line and you want to fold it in. You want to push it in. You want to do the same to the other side. I'm going to be reviewing this again because this is where origami gets confusing. It's when you do all these crazy folds. So you're going to take that line that's going across, that's caving in, and you want to push it in. Even if it's the other way, even if you got it wrong, you can just take the line that's going across the paper that's folding in. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. So now you have two flaps like this. So now you're gonna take the triangle point and face it towards you. So you have two flaps now, like so, like I'm showing you. Um, so you wanna take one flap and you want to fold it down. And but then you wanna push it to the side so that like the tip of the triangle-ish thing is not completely so like it should be like sticking out like see that part it should be like sticking out it should not be like this like you know it's all straight it all seems straight it should be like sticking out ish so you should push it in and then push it out it should be sticking out like this 
You want to do the same with the other flap. Remember you're taking the flap on the top. You don't take the flap on the bottom with you. Just the flap on the top. That's something I messed up with a lot when I was trying this before. See how hard it was so I could tell you guys. Maybe the tips and tricks. So only take the flap on the front. So now you have done it to both sides and it's sticking out like this. Now you want to flip it over with the point again facing down and you want to take the point and you want to fold it up. Fold it up all the way, even if it sticks out on the top of the butterfly. You want to fold it all the way up as I'm showing you. And it's okay if like the bottom flaps are kind of sticking up. So now you want to take whatever is left on top of the triangle and push it down like so. Just kind of flap it over. And you kind of want to, if you want to like give it more shape, just kind of squeeze the wings together-ish, ish, ish. Like, like squeeze them together if you want to give it more shape. But again, this is a very beginner butterfly, so I'm trying to make it easy. And if you want, you can like take the flap off and before you put the flap down, you can like kind of stick your like finger in that little pocket where the wing is where the two wings meet and kind of just stick your finger in there um, to give it a bit, a little more shape, but there's not much you can do with this. I didn't want to make it too advanced. You can kind of pinch it like I'm doing. Looks like I'm harassing the, the, the whatchamacallit. <laughs> the butterfly. And you just kind of pull the flap back over, kind of squeeze them together if you want to give it a little more shape, but I think it looks just fine if, even if you don't do that. So guys, this is basically, your butterfly squeeze it together it actually looks prettier um so this is your butterfly i like it so i'm going to put that square paper trick at the end right after this clip and then i will go to the part where i show you all around the butterfly and whatever so i'll put the square paper thing right after this clip and right after that you can see all around my butterfly all the grooves and edges so let's go to that Okay, so this is our paper. All you have to do is take the paper um, and you want to put it like long ways like this. And you want to take the top um, right corner, please excuse any folds. Take the top right corner and you want to bring it down. I know there's writing on the back. Please excuse all the writing on the back. Um, I was just using scrap paper because I don't want to waste paper. Take the top right corner and bring it down. And you need to take like the tip, as you can see, like the top of my paper. Um, that needs to form a tip. It cannot be, it has to be like a very sharp tip, the top of the paper, the top left corner, what used to be the top left corner. It needs to be like, you can't have that, like that thing that you just saw, you can't have that. It needs to be a straight tip and you just need to fold that down. And it needs to all align here. It all needs to be in one straight line and you just need to crease it down like so. And then all you gotta do is cut off all this paper like from this line down. Cut all that paper off and you'll have like a, like a, I know there's writing on the back. Please excuse, you know, I used to write chapter books. When I was second grade. So it would look like this. Once you have cut off all that, it'll be square paper and then you can follow along with the tutorial. So yeah, let's go on to see my butterfly and if you want to check this out you can go to any of my other videos like the fortune teller and mini envelope video so that you can see it well explained better.